Hi all, it's Ziv from Elementor. Today we will check out the Elementor Beta Developer Edition, which is a separate plugin to be installed alongside Elementor. It is a testing tool for new features that acts as a version manager, giving advanced users access to the latest development builds and get familiar with Elementor's future functionalities and improvements. These releases may not be stable and therefore should not be used on live sites. We recommend backing up your site before upgrading and using staging environments only. Feedback, including bug reports and suggestions for improvement, will be used to evaluate and validate new features before they are rolled out into production. Let's check it out. The Developer Edition plugin can either be downloaded and installed from the WordPress repository or from your WordPress dashboard. I'll go ahead and install the plugin then activate it. As you can see, it's added to the list of plugins, and now the core Elementor plugin has an available update. This is what I meant when I said that the Developer Edition plugin acts as a version manager. It adds a Developer Edition menu in the Elementor sidebar, where you can manage these updates, along with other important options. Currently, I'm on a stable Elementor version. I'll go ahead and update it. Once it's done updating, you can either return to the plugins page, where you can see that Elementor is updated to the latest dev version, or go back to the developer edition options and see that over here. There are some instances where the update notification takes a while to appear. You can try refreshing it by going to dashboard, updates, and click on check again. In addition, you can try clearing your site's cache and see if the update appears. If for any reason you need to reinstall the latest stable Elementor version, you can do that here as well. Just click the Reinstall Now button to automatically revert to it. Note that if you delete the Developer Edition plugin before you've clicked the Reinstall Now button, you won't revert to a stable Elementor version automatically. You would need to install it manually using the rollback feature found in Elementor, Tools, Version Control. Back in Developer Edition, there's also an option to activate auto updates, which will automatically update your Elementor plugin to the latest available release. Elementor Pro versions currently won't get auto updates. You can also opt in to share non sensitive plugin data, which helps us perfect Elementor and produce groundbreaking features. When using the Developer Edition, the Elementor debugger is enabled by default. And if you come across any bugs, you can report them directly via GitHub by clicking over here in the top right corner. Also, there are a few visual aids reminding you that you are using the Developer Edition, just like this dev badge over here. After configuring options if needed, you are ready to use Elementor the same way you would with any other Elementor version. However, you might come across new features or changes in the user interface that are not present in the stable production version. Notice the dark top bar and badge in the Elementor editor, again reminding you that you are using the Developer Edition. Also, if we preview this page and open Inspect, you'll notice that the body tag now also contains the Elementor Dev class. The Elementor Developer Edition is meant for advanced users and should be used with caution. It's not recommended to use on production sites because just like with Elementor Beta releases, Developer Edition releases may not be stable. The main difference between the two is that beta versions are the designated version for release, whereas developer edition versions may include extra features or experiments that are not available in either the stable or beta versions. The beta versions, though, will be much more stable due to the work accomplished in the developer edition. Well, that's it. Now you know what the Elemental Beta Developer Edition is all about and how to use it to be part of our future releases. Make sure to back up your site and use a staging environment and send bug reports, feature suggestions, and suggestions for improvement to help us evaluate and validate new features before they are rolled out into production. As always, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tips and tutorials. Ciao for now.